I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I made it. I made it. A little few seconds late, but I did it. I just got here. Hello. And welcome to another wonderful stream. Whoa. Yeah, I didn't call you. It's not Ruga time yet. It is not Ruga time yet. Was I talking to you, Rook? Apparently, Ruka. Ruka is here so early. Ruka. You should go to your bed. You are so cute. Oh my god. Oh, Ruka is so cute. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, go. He is not on time. He's too early. You're never late. I'm. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm always late. Hey, Natasha! Wow! Natasha. Welcome to the Book of Souls. Natasha the Wolf. Member for 14 months. Hope you, Ruka, and Dusty are well. There's a game that comes out called Phob Phobia. It's a horror game you might like. Phobia with an F? Never heard of it. Thank you, Natasha. I might like it. Natasha, welcome to the book. You're in here. If you become a member on YouTube, you get uh, written in the Book of Souls, okay? That's a very special book that we use for the members on YouTube. Hey! And also, if you gift memberships on YouTube, you also get in the Book of Souls! Just like Steve, right now, gifted five Megan Yeah memberships at the special level. To Martin and Verg and Edwin and Kenny and Arshez. Welcome. Steve times five gifts to the Book of Souls. <laughs> Welcome. All dished out nice. Yeah. People are all uh, finally realizing that they can allow gifted memberships on their account on YouTube. So finally now, when you guys gift, gift subs on there, they will be given out. Mostly, I think. You felt your soul has gone. Ah, it's in my book now. Thank you for your soul. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Natasha. The effect is so cheesy, it's charming. That's my best pyrotechnic work. How's your finger? Uh, it's good. I just, it, it was hurting a bit this morning again, so I put this back on. Um, I'll take it off for gaming. But uh, no, pretty good lately. I've been wearing this as much as possible, and whenever I wear this, it's like the pain of my finger is like one tenth. It's it's like nothing. So if you ever have tendonitis, apparently wearing a splint while you're just doing activities is good. It keeps it out of the way and out of getting into trouble. Like I was putting sheets on the bed the other day. And I put this on because I was like, I am definitely going to bend my finger backwards and hurt it. Um, and I did that and uh, yeah, it helped me. I specifically was just grabbing stuff like this, you know, pretending this finger didn't exist. And it's good. Is it getting better at least? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Totally. Like I take it out of here and I do, I do stretches like this and I just do like nice movements of the finger. And I like stretch it backwards a little bit, go side to side, and just making sure it's all good and everything. And uh, once uh, uh, once it's healed, I don't need to wear it anymore. <gasps> Greet me through the play button. Hello, Perplexed. Nice light, what you have behind you. Thanks, Defiant One. Yeah, this is the light. Um, I don't know, it might be malfunctioning. I have to check out the... It didn't come with any instruction manual. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's supposed to flicker like that. I have to look at the first stream that I did with it and see if it was a smooth transition. Because right now it goes like, it is the lights come on for a second, they flicker and then they turn off. 
And then it's making some squeaking noises too, so um, I'm not a repairman, but I can open stuff up and take a look. I know how to grease stuff. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, now... Hoy, randomized. It's gonna explode, I hope. It might have wires loose and it moves the lights inside, it might make them flicker that way. Yeah. Glad the finger is at least getting better, because if it wasn't, then you sure would have to get it checked out, but at least it's getting better. Yeah, I did have it checked out too. They're the one that told me it was tendonitis. And that I should just keep if keep in the splint if it makes it feel better. But ultimately I need to be moving it. Gameplay lick! Welcome to the book of souls. <laughs> Gameplay. Are you gonna play Klonoa Collection Remastered? Uh, Klonoa, isn't that a shooting, uh, like a spaceship game? Klonoa? <laughs> That's super old. Uh, I don't think so, but you never know, I mean, with me. Gameplay, like, member for 27 months. Look at you. And your golden Ruka crown. Soon, um, there's going to be a crown for three year and four year. So those of you that are three year and four year, you're going to get something really special soon. I just haven't made it yet. Klono is a platformer. So then probably not my thing. Sounds like your light is haunted and you need to exercise it. Ah, nobody here exercises. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. Ooh. Resting and compressing. I haven't been icing it. And I have not been elevationing it. <laughs> Christian! Book of Souls! <laughs> it's not gonna get old. Christian, thanks for being a member for eight months. I don't have uh, room for your whole name. I'll just put Christian C. Thank you. Welcome to the Book of Souls, Christian. Can you make one for 18 months? No, it doesn't let you. It's only, it's literally like exactly what they've allowed. <laughs> you don't set the terms. All I do is upload the picture. But you're almost there. I mean, 18 months, that's so close to 24 months. You'll be getting that golden Ruka crown very soon. You exercise? <laughs> With a crying face? I'm sorry. Rice, homie, rice. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. What about heat? You're not supposed to put heat on it? What about uh, icy hot? Is it rest, icy hot, compression? Yo, Deviance Factor, welcome. You guys, thank you so much. Uh, we got a lot of follows and subscribes yesterday on uh, YouTube and Twitch. It was a big deal, okay? Thank you for everyone who, from yesterday, followed and subscribed. It was like, I don't know. It was like, congrats, you got 240% more follows, which I know 2.4 times more, but that's still a lot. That's still very good. No, you only get the one year next week, then you have to wait a whole year for the next one. Oh, duh, okay. Right. Yeah, the next one is the two year. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get it. Thank you. Hey, Martin Gerstorf. Thank you for the 1999 euros. Hello, they said. Hello, with a thumbs up. Here, do my good hand. Hello! Ruka, no, it's not time for you. Martin, thank you for supporting the stream. Do you want to go on the mug? Martin. Welcome to the mug, Martin. Thank you very much. Did Megan try Crash 4? I forgot. Um, Crash 4? 
I think maybe that's the one I tried. I don't remember. How did I like this game so far? Jed says. Um, it's it's slow, but it's actually um, it's one of those games that afterwards you kind of think of and you're like, you know what? That was actually a very good experience. So I'm happy to try to finish the game tonight. It's about an eight hour game, you guys were saying. So if I put in another four-ish hours. I, oh, I didn't play Crash 4? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's hard to remember what I played. Because I played that newer one. That, I thought that was Crash 4. Um, no, it's ice. Bringing the temperature down can suppress mediators of inflammation. Ooh. Technical mark. 4 is the newest one. And I didn't play that? Nice top, by the way. It looks very stylish. Thank you. Thank you. It's one of my new shirts. New shirt. I got it in a pack of clothing that I ordered from Shein. Oh, I believe I played the Insane Trilogy. Oh, oh. Crash 4 was out 2020, but it got PS5 update. Well, interesting. Is that worth playing? I know it's a big anger game. For me. Uh, Nash reminds you of Visage. Yes. Yeah, it reminds me of Visage. Although Visage was not as exciting. This one at least has some scary moments. And although the only reason I wasn't jumping and wasn't scaring yesterday is because I was kind of tired. And like I was really, really, really tired yesterday. I can't believe I streamed. I, I should have just been sleeping. Um, I was so tired and I had bad allergies and I'm in a big bright room like with big lights on me. So I, it's not that scary. Uh, but the thing is, if I was playing this game alone in the dark, I'd be pooping my pants fully. There are some very scary moments in this. And don't let me fool you by my reactions. I am scared to the core in here. Did you ever stream Murder House? It's a short game. No, but weren't you guys posting that uh, about that in my Discord? I thought that was like a VHS artwork. <laughs> uh, you look marvelous. Thank you very much. Chef's kiss. Can't do it with this finger. Uh, I didn't, didn't think you get far enough in Visage to see the cool stuff just from the trailers I've seen. Oh, really? I, I feel like I played Visage for like three hours. It felt like enough. Got to be on the lookout for that sneaky statue again. Yeah, okay, that was the funny part of the game. I don't think it's meant to be funny. I think that that statue was the comic relief. <laughs> um, but I think that that was actually meant to be quite scary. Because remember, there, people are afraid of the the weeping angels. Uh, that Those scary... I, I don't even know what those are from. Hey, Reven. Uh, did, I, oh, did I ever play the Martha is dead? No, but I think I have that. And people were saying this is way better. Doctor Who. How is Doctor Who scary? How are you guys afraid of that? Isn't that just like a pip pop tiddly two kind of English TV show? What happened to your finger? OZ1 Gaming. Just tendonitis, probably from gaming. Be careful. Hi, Max Boogie. Uh, let's see. I'd probably beat it on one stream. Murder House. Is it actually scary? Weeping Angels, Doctor Who, that's what they're called. Yo, Jonathan Starr, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Hey. Back in the 70s, it was horrifying. <laughs> Do I have Martha is Dead? I don't know, Steve, you sent me a lot of games, so I'm not sure anymore what games I have, because you've sent me quite a few. I feel like you probably sent me that. You watched Doctor Who for a good amount of seasons. You think I stopped after the red-haired lady? I don't know who that is. Murder House is a throwback to 8-bit horror. Oh, 8-bit. My arch nemesis. I only play 256-bit. Or higher. No, you don't. Do you want it? No, no, don't send it to me. Apparently, it's worse than this. You don't know either after many years? Okay. I don't know either. I've never even seen one episode of Doctor Who. I've seen it on TV before, and I saw the guy with that funny scarf. 
uh, one of the doctors, and I was like, okay, that looks cool, I guess. But that's it. Corey is better better than Madison for you so far. Oh, they're so different. Corey is like so acted and like produced and like takes you into the. It takes you through the uh, the atmosphere and the story and everything, and it like it curates it for you. It's like you're in a hallway, but in this game, you are doing your own thing. If you screw up one puzzle or, and don't know what to do, you can still go wander around the house and get scared uh, for eternity before anything happens. I don't even think that there's any hints in this, other than like object markers. Murder House is like a PS1 game, okay. Five Nights at Freddy's gave you a lot of jump scares when you first played? Yeah, me too. I played the first one when it was just a big jank fest. And it actually scared me. It was a long, long, long time ago. And I didn't, the thing is, I didn't understand the game. It was just spooky. But I have the, um, I have the latest Five Nights at Freddy's. Haven't played it. The statue is a pisser, though? Yes. Is this game better than Stanley Parable? Mm, they're different. I mean, Stanley Parable wasn't a, a horror. It's hard. I can't compare stuff like when they're out of, they're not the same genre. It's it's kind of too hard. They're similar, similar in terms of rank, I think, among their peers. Hi, John. Hi, Infinity Kingdom. You love my game Resident Evil 8? Yeah, me too, Martin. That was such a good game. That's due for a replay. Maybe not a re-cosplay, but just a replay. Stanley Parable doesn't really compare to anything. Yeah, it's its own thing. That was just weird. That game was just strange. Hey, Captain Robbie Bob. Ever played back in 1995? No, never heard of it. If you ever can find this game and play it, look for Nightmare Creatures. It was for the older consoles. Pretty cool game. Sounds like a horror game. Have I played the new Five Nights at Freddy's game? No, I have it though. Um, did I ever finish Cyberpunk? I went to the very end of the game um, and then something happened. I took a break and I never went back. Uh, but I am at the, at the end of the game. I technically could boot the game up and, and probably beat the game in like a couple hours. Because I wanted to go and see glitches and stuff, and that's I think that's what I was doing. I wanted to go and see if I could like get into buildings by doing like the sideways jumping and and smashing a car through the building to see if I could sneak in and get the the secret katana on the roof of the building and yeah. So I'm probably really OP now. Uh, security breach definitely still needs some patchwork uh, to be done on it. Oh, and the newest, yeah, that bad. You're going to replay when third person comes out. Yes, that's exactly when I'm going to do it. When do they say that is? The DLC and the third person for Resident Evil 8. Because, yeah, that'll be the time where we start the game from scratch again and play it in third person. You recommend Murder House and Condemned Criminal Origins? <laughs> what is this Myrtle ha Murder House? Is there a Murder House convention happening today? Alyssa looks like good Neo Retro Survival Horror. Wish it came out on Xbox One. Uh, oh, dang. I have all these games um, written down. But a lot of them I wasn't able to find. Would I play House of the Dead Remake? I don't know what that is. If it's multiplayer, no. It's always hard to know what games I would probably play, because it's like, I can look up the game, House of the Dead Remake. Oh, Arcade Rail Shooter? Probably not, no. It looks neat, but I'm not a fan of rail shooters. Those piss me off. It was released just a few months ago. It has mixed reviews on Steam.
We all know what you're really afraid of. We all know that to never ever send me a Souls game in the mail on Christmas or my birthday. <laughs> Um, the first two amnesias are memorable experience. The first being the Dark Descent and the second being Machine for Pigs. I played one of those. Uh, which one did I play? Dark. Dark Descent. I have Amnesia, Dark Descent. Is that the one that I played? No, I liked Rebirth. I actually played 11 hours Amnesia Rebirth and really enjoyed it. But again, I quit at the very end because it got so sloggy at the very end. It was just bluff. Um, but I have not played Machine for Pigs or Dark Descent, um, which is interesting because I am curious about those. Um, I did play another one not too recently. Remember what that one was where it was a horror? It was supposed to be horror, but um, I was in like. Um, an underground bunker in like a snow area. And you had to like sneak past dogs or pigs or whatever it was. And it was just not very good. It was kind of spooky, but not not good today. Did I play Outlast? Yeah, um, was that Outlast that I had played? No. I played Outlast something. I have Outlast 1 and 2. It says that I played 92 minutes Outlast 1. Oh, that one! Yeah, meh. You know, it was kind of... Outlast 1 was whatever. I think I put more time... I put 5 hours into Outlast 2. That was better. And even that one I didn't love. Uh, Penumbra Overture. I think that was the one in Vanek. Yeah, no, don't install that. Yeah, I played 41 minutes of that. Penumbra Black Plague. Apparently I played 10 minutes. Requiem. Outlast 1 is way better than 2 by a lot. You're wild. But 1 was just like not that scary. 2 I remember, be remember being scared by. Layers of Fear. Layers of Fear. How, I thought I owned this. First person psychedelic horror game with heavy focus on story and exploration. That's very positive. Oh, it's Bluebird makes that. Yeah, that's a cool game. Can you play the Sinking City on stream? I think that might be boring. Let me look which one that is. Sinking City. Oh, I have that one. Oh, that's the, um, oh, you know what? I was going to play this. I was actually gonna play this uh, at one point. And then I looked up videos of it, like of somebody streaming it. Um, and I did not like what I saw, but it does look cool. Like when you look at just the previews and stuff on Steam, it looks neat. Maybe I caught them in a bad time, but they, they made it look so boring. Even though it's all, it's like a Lovecrafty, is it Lovecraftian inspired? HP Lovecraft, yeah. Yeah, for me to play it on stream, it has to be exciting enough, like, or new. New, AAA, or exciting. And if it's none of those things, then it's kind of hard to sell it on stream. Hi, John Hub. You think Stinky City has a ton of dialogue? You don't mind dialogue? Yeah, neither do I. As long as it's good. Sometimes can be overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, I've played games with overwhelming amounts of dialogue. Yakuza, for instance. But those games were excellent. Hmm. Okay, one sec. Uh, we're gonna play this game right away, pretty soon. Oh, Steve, thank you for sending me that other game called Penitence on Steam. Just looking at that now. That also... People were talking about that, I think, in stream yesterday. That one looks good. 
It's hard for sure to know what would be exciting. Yeah, that's why I just I always have to personally look up a video of someone playing it and just seeing what their experience is. Not to get spoilers or anything, but just to see what the mood of the game is. And if it's like mucky or slow or poorly acted or something, it just... I mean, I'm not the kind of person that likes to just play a game and like make fun of it. I like to just, I like to enjoy the games, you know? Maybe if I was more of the kind of person that, that made fun of stuff, then I could play awful games. And we can make it funny. But um, I never really truly have that much negative to say about some games. You saw it looks good, you saw it a couple days ago when it was said in chat, that's why you said what the hell, yeah. Isn't Penitence, like, really scary? It apparently might be. Caitlin Rose, thank you for subscribing, or following on Twitch. Hello. Bad games can be fun to play. Yeah, like, like, uh, that a shit game, or whatever it was called. And that awful dollar game that Dusty sent me, that was so bad. But funny for, like, a few minutes. You picked it up too, nice. None of these games are scary, TBH. What's scary to you, Bionic? Um. Stream started early today? Yeah, a little bit early, Mitch. Uh, just a little bit. No, like I, Ideally, in my mind, I stream at 3 o'clock p.m. Um, Pacific every day. In my mind, but it usually ends up being like 4.30 because <laughs> I'll forget what I'm doing and just stare at the wall for an hour. And that always happens. Uh, online randos in multiplayer games, maybe. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, Dead Space games were good. Yes, they were. Can I can send you that one if you want. Wow, which one? I don't know what I what game I said. Eternal Evil is very positive on stream Steam. Um, it's very positive. Not a ton of reviews. Yeah. Old school survival. That looks okay. Uh, I like the blood. The Exorcist in VR. Oh god. I will never play that. <laughs> Don't send me VR games. I cannot play them. And you'll have Callisto to play as well. Yeah, I cannot wait for Callisto Protocol. Is that on Steam? The oh, close to protocol. I'm gonna wish list that shit. I gotta start wish listing all the new games that are coming out. Um, when does Stray come out? I know Steve already sent me that one. You can't preload that yet or anything, can you? No, July 19th. Is that on a oh, it's on a Tuesday, so we'll play on the 20th. All platforms, you can't wait for Callisto either. Time for Halloween. Nice. Have I tried Outlast? Yeah, Chad, one and two. Alyssa always has also has a very positive view on Steam. Yeah, I was looking at that one. Um Alyssa. Oh, that's the one, yeah, I was looking at that one, but what's with the graphics? I don't know if I could deal with that. I like that it's puzzly and stuff, but mm, that's kind of expensive for something like that, maybe. Is Callista still tri tied to the PUBG universe? That's what, that's what someone said, but I don't understand why or how. Like, what do they share? One's in space, one's on the ground. When Callisto was first announced, it was supposed to be set in the PUBG world. That was a weird choice. Yeah, about, like, why? It's the same developers? 
Oh yeah, Steve also sent me a game called Lego Builder's Journey on Steam. That's not a stream game, but that is still an interesting Lego game that I'll try because I do love Lego. I don't have space for real Lego right now. I have like a very modest Lego set uh, or two. The Lego game has ray tracing. <laughs> yeah, now I really have to try it. Yeah, it does look pretty. Play Stray with Ruka. I will. He will be here. Little Ru will definitely come up every single stream multiple times. Uh, Stanley Parable, we played that um, a few weeks ago. Supposedly, LEGO, like, bleh, 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 supposedly that LEGO game has insane graphics. Yeah, if it has ray tracing, that's really impressive. I know you like LEGO, that's why I send it to you. Yeah, good. Good. Good choice. Ruka Cam for Stray. Yes, if I can remember to get... Okay, I'm going to add it to my list of things to do on my days off here. Um, I got to order that green vinyl sticker for his backdrop. Okay. Cat cosplay for Stray. I don't see why not. That's kind of a good idea. Have I built any of the more of the buildings IRL? No, I have not. I am I do need to pick up another hobby again, so probably I will start those again. Um, I got like 8% through one of the big ones, um, and I'd like just to keep working on that again. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll take that out, out on my day off and start working on those again. Um, you wouldn't mind a mainline bad graphics Resident Evil game, TBH. Bad graphics? Bad graphics survival horror is definitely for the nostalgia audience. Yeah, like I I like the nostalgia aspect of those games, but uh, whenever I see graphics that are kind of like trying to be older, but they don't really look quite old, they look like just someone trying to make them look old, I don't know. I They kind of turn me off a bit. Uh, I can't really see your games on Steam. I wanted to get you something kind of nice. Thank you for offering OZ1 Gaming. Yeah, I have it locked down mostly for various reasons. Um, you remember when I did the Cheetah one from Resident Evil 3? You were amazed by the makeup and skills. Like, so good. Thanks, John. Yeah, that was fun to do. I like that. The Japanese building one looks so cool. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Yeah, so then here's Johnny. Is everyone here now? I think they are. Everyone's here. We can play the game. Now that you're all here... Mm. <laughs> thank you. Yo Tomo channel. Domo Tomo, thank you for the 500... Yen? Japanese yen? Thank you for the 500 yen. Hello, Japan is sad. Please divide everyone's energy. Tomo, uh, you have my condolences. I know, I heard about what happened. I'm very sorry about that. Everyone send nice thoughts to the people of Japan. Thank you, Tomo. Whoa, striker. I'm up. I'm up here! You're going in the Book of Souls! Thank you, Striker. I started to misspell the second part of your username. So we're just gonna put you as striker. Thank you. Member for four months. Hell yeah. Will I ever have my own video game? Maybe something like Iana's sister, but with Megan as a protagonist? <laughs> Michelle, probably not. If a game wants to use my likeness, they can contact me 
and I will charge them a moderate sum. And then they can put me in their game. <laughs> Silent Hill is overdue. You could do the promo for the Dino's Crisis remake. I would. Hell yeah. Lady D is your likeness, TBH. I don't know. Lady D's kind of harsh. I think it's just the makeup, though. Lady D's very violent. Saw what she did. <laughs> I can maybe be one of the daughters. Lady D has a $1,500 statue. Oh, and I want that. If there's a cheaper, like, like my Jill Valentine, like maybe like a less than $100 one, I'd want one. The Adventures of Megan, yeah, the rise of Ruka, and what would Ruka do? <laughs> Is he the bad guy? How big is the statue? Hopefully really big. GTA Vancouver starring Megan, we go to Rocker Pharmacy and distribute legal weed around the block on the bike. <laughs> the Rocker Pharmacy. <laughs> I remember that. Let's say hello to everyone in chat, okay? Let's get it going. I want to hear everyone to say hi. I want to hear everyone saying hi in the chat. Hello. Hello, Dalit. Hiya. Hello, J Blue J Bulls seventy nine. Hello, Soylent Hill. Hello, Deadly and Ka937. Villa Steven, Slaying Dragon, Street Gerbil. Hello, Waylon G and Brian Dunlop. Hey, Creed and Godzilla. Hello, Steve and Just Call Me John. Perplexied, Bionic, Alex, Tucker, Yates. Oh, yeah, production value. Woo! Hello, Green Wizard. Hello there in YouTube. Corn's Chosen, APAC. DJ David, Stuart, Ali, OZ1, Cunchable, Nick, Natasha, Gerard Wolf, Arsony, Michelle, Chad, Drew Too Fast, Rob Pitt, Brittany, Christian, Isaiah, Revan, Creed, Carrie, Frank, Mark, Mitch, Ken C. Hello. Nick, McDonald, Beep Boop, Ho Denises, Beep Boop. Tech Ninja, hi, hi. Klaas Vak. Hello there. Howdy. Striker one, Tony C. Hi, eh? Sean, hiya. Hiya, George, hello. Frank, hi. Is there a way to see how long you've been subscribed, Reven? Oh, you should check, just Google that. I bet there's something that you can link your YouTube account with and it'll tell you. I'm sure so, I'm sure someone's figured that out. Hello, hello. Nomad, howdy. Howdy Ruka, I see him right there. Let's have a little more fog for the road. Hey Radiosphere. Hold an aces. Oh holding aces. Howdy, space bar. High five, Michelle through the bulletproof glass. You see, like my nails. I've been doing my own manicures. I think they look pretty good. Not bad. Doing my own gel manis. With a little kit I bought from Walmart.
One sec, why is my phone buzzing? Stop. Madison full of jump scares. Yes, there were quite a few. Okay, we're ready to play the game, guys. You ready? I'm ready. That's enough uh, looking at me and my new shirt. Ah! Madison! What the fuck? One, 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 not one, one. I was watching Ask Leo today. Uh, the weekend is close to be completed and another work week coming up. Wow. Time does go so fast. So it's time for a nice cold one to start the night. Cheers and salute. Thank you. Ah, Ruka, you're being naughty. You do not jump up like that. Cheers and salute. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you, Megan, for playing the game on stream. You're the best. Hell yeah. Thank you. I know I am the best. Thank you very kindly, Steve, for going on the mug. Thank you very kindly. Welcome to the mug, Steve. Thank you so much for supporting the stream, keeping it on the air, and keeping the internet paid for. Cheers to all. Thanks, Steve. That was a Ruka cannonball. That was his butterball move, if you saw that. There was literally no grace or finesse with that jump. He just... Boo. A butterball. Cool. Cool. Wow. Thanks a lot, Steve. That's a lot of money. Thank you very much. Are you guys ready? We're playing Madison. Madison. Who's making all those hearts on me? You bird thon? Hello. Uh, we are gonna resume. Yesterday, we made it through, uh, out of the house. We made it through a graveyard, and now we are in a church. Or an abandoned... church. Called the Church of Jupiter or something? You like it when Leo has Scott on? On Saturdays. Oh. I forgot who that is. Welcome to the stream, by the way. If you're just getting here, this is part two of my Madison playthrough. Part two. We are in a church. And I gotta look around. Do I have my lighter still? Wait, where's my lighter? I have my trusty camera. It's not what I want, though. I want my lighter back. Oh, the guy that does TV and audio items? Oh, okay. I like the Gizwiz. And I like that when he has that girl on the, from Tech TV days. Completely forget her name. Anything over here? Okay, so it says 2022. Oh yeah, here's something. Biblical art mazes. Our mazes get updated every year. You know what sucks is I never got to open those, um, those safes that were in the old house before I left. I wonder what was going to be in them. Visit our biblical art mazes to get, uh, blah, blah. Blue maze is that shape. Maybe I should draw that, because if that's the shape of a maze that I'm going to do, I can cheat by drawing that. 
let's draw it real quick. Okay, I've drawn it. Epic treasure, hey! Is it a great game? Uh, it's a spooky game. Hey, a free candle! Wait, what's, why is it yellow? Is it a piss candle? Let's find out. Can I light it? Morgan Webb, that's the one. Nineteen eighty seven. Hey, I see a face. Jesus. Oh, I didn't like that. Jesus. Nineteen eighty seven, twenty twenty two. 1951, 1987. So, what's on this wall? Press X to Jesus! Okay, nothing on that wall. Are you playing this to Epic Treasure? Maybe Bionic could shout you out. Thank you. Do people still shake photos like that? They're not supposed to, apparently. <laughs> Yo, Martin Gersdorf, thank you for the 9.99 super chat of euros. Thank you for the 20 earlier as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Did I time travel? Jesus. A red door. Open it, shit. Get me out of this shithole. Hey, have we time traveled? Green maze, yellow maze, confessionary, with an iron cross. Bell tower, foundation stone, blue maze. Well, okay, at least it's a map. Hey, and another save. Oh, it's probably my stuff from before. Take. Just some tapes. Sunbox. Well, I can't open that yet, so why don't I store the moon box? I'll keep the candle and the photos and the notebook. Broken shovel. Yeah, I'll keep this stuff. This is impossible. This place didn't look like this a second ago. Yeah, it looks nice now. I can go here. To worship whatever is worshipped here. Sure. Streaming on the Sabbath? It's okay, I'm in church. Madison. Madison. Hale? Oh. Is this her coffin? Yeah, it's all hung up there. The eye is missing. Oh shit, who would take the eye? Oh look, green maze. It's like the shape of a thing. Biblical art mazes, okay. 
So that's the shape of the green maze. That's cool. I wonder if I should draw that. Um, that's the blue maze, I think. Green maze is just like this. Like a hangman box. I drew it. Don't go under it. Don't get crushed by it. I'll take a picture of it. Oh, I didn't like that. Is the picture gonna be all rotten again? No, it's fine. It's definitely a thing. What's going on this way? Oh, a hallway. Green maze. Nothing. Okay, what we got here? Hold on. Let's see. Oh, I can put stuff here. So there's angels playing the violin. That is, I don't know, Socrates or something. <laughs> uh, that's definitely Jesus. Um, I'll take a picture of him. Let's see. I want to get a better look. It's clearly Father Comstock. Yeah. Clearly. Um, what do you do here? The yellow candle? Oh, you can put the candle on stuff for some reason. Okay. It made a noise. What does that noise mean? It makes a different noise for everything you put it on. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the main hall here. I can go look at the red maze. But ideally, I would be looking for a light source. But we'll take a picture of this again, like this. How many times can I make it fall? How many times can I make it sway? Just keep snapping it. Okay, I don't think that's a solution. I don't think so. I'm hearing something very weird.
Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I didn't know what it was. It was my vacuum making crazy noises. It just sounded really weird through my uh, microphone. Like I, I have my microphone, I have it uh, monitoring my voice. So whatever, whatever sound happens around here, I hear it in my headphones immediately. And so especially if something sounds weird, it amplifies it. And then so I hear it even louder and clearer in here. And so my little vacuum uh, was stuck on some cables and it was making some crazy noises. I thought it was my computer, that's why I got so worried. But it's fine. Crisis averted. Must light holy candle, it's another one of those possessions. Yeah, I want... I want to be able to light it. The color of life, the color of peace, the color of our little angels. Okay, what color are the angels? White? Or beige? Or pink? That's the only colors I see in there. Um, so angels... So this, are, this need color. So the... It looks like it's gonna get me to put corresponding color candles. Angels color. Heavenly Father, this is bless us all. Wait, what did it say? The color of the color life? Of life. The color of peace. The color of our little angels. Probably white is usually the color of a peace flag, right? Like, a, no, not a peace flag. A, um, uh, the flag you, the white flag you put up when the you've given up. The color of death. The color of wine. The color of Jesus' blood. So Jesus wants the red candle. Oh, I gotta go further. Yeah, it was a robovac. Surrender. The surrender flag. Hey, another candle. Red candle, I needed that one. Ring a ding ding. Oh, another bell up there. Was that the bell I heard at the graveyard? Maybe. It's got a dinger in it. So it's too bad I can't take a picture of that. All right, well, I found out two colors. I need a white candle and I need a red candle. But right now all I have is yellow and red. So, okay, I came from there. Let me just look at the map here. I went to... The bells. I gotta go blue maze. Blue maze here. Billy maze. Now the one scary thing would be Billy maze here! Just jumping out around the corner. I think that'd scare me a lot more than the big naked grandma. Maybe this one needs the yellow. I'm not sure if I should take him with me, because I, I don't... Was it the, uh... Was it only the blue maze that had this in it? I feel like it was also the green maze. Biblical maze. That might be dingy white versus yellow. Oh!
Okay, I went to the blue maze. Didn't find a candlestick in there. Um, I already went in green, and I think we went in red, so I'll go in the yellow maze. I was assuming there would be a candle or something in each maze. Oh yeah, okay, so there is a candle placement in each maze. Oh wait, that's a different picture. So maybe I have to choose the correct maze that has the correct candles placements. I better keep checking the floors. Hi, Maltese. Hi, Curtis. Okay, now there. I never really looked through around the here though. Oh, it's that. Uh, I never looked on the seats. There could be a candle around here. No, I guess I'll just go in this maze and then we'll try the one across again. So this is red. Which side did we get those instructions again? did need it. I have to say, <laughs> I'm pretty lucky to have Red Ranger come and do all this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'll move the stuff out of the way for you. Because, you know what? I fucking love Windex. Oh, I love Windex and uh, cleaning stuff. Oh yeah, thank you. That's really filthy right here. Thank you. A little bit of that. <laughs> it's uh, quite, quite filthy back here. And I'm glad that uh, we got a little bit of a tidying up done, actually. <laughs> Can you hire Red Ranger on Fiverr? No, he's at least a tenner. At least. But you know what? He cleaned up all of my uh, coffee stains that I had all over my desk here. I have no more coffee stains. Everything's so clean now. And my rug is all puffed up too. Although I did roll onto my thing here. Wow. Red Ranger cleaning service. <laughs> Red Ranger needs more lemon pledge. No, he, he doesn't even know how to ask for it. He just gets it himself. Can we see a morph next time? Maybe, I mean, if you're lucky. If there's enough alcohol in the house, yeah. We could probably see a morph. It really depends. Completely on the Red Ranger. Thank you, Red Ranger Cleaning Service. Five out of five stars. Midstream clean. Uh, Midstream 
<laughs> something, something. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Madison. Steve, thank you for the 11 11 for the vacuum break. Cheers and salute. Thank you very kindly, Steve. Thank you. You paid for Red Ranger services for me. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. He didn't clean the inside of the fridge, uh, but that's okay. The fridge is still relatively new. My plaque has to get shined a little bit. He did get the lens of the camera. That's that's perfect. So it's nice and crisp now. And I eventually, um, I actually do need. Oh, I I need the plaque done. Okay. Can you do the plaque a little bit? Just gen you didn't just you know. My face is in it. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, just like, that's exactly what I wanted. It's just like a little bit of polishing done so that when people can see my face in it when I look at them, like when I'm looking at it right now, see that everyone can see me. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. Once it dries, it'll, it'll be great. It just, uh, it's a work of art that. And also eventually, if I had Swiffer dusters, oh thank you. If there was like, uh, if I had one of those like cute like feather dusters, I would like um, Red Ranger to come and like clean like the desk surfaces off with it, like a little feather. Uh, and like my statues, my action figures. Um, and then maybe, you know, there's all sorts of stuff I've got to get done. Like, oh, oh yes, there you go. Wonderful. Yeah, that's exactly. Clean Jill Valentine. And Geralt. And anything else. My diamond. My diamond. Um, and a picture of Dusty and I. That's right. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, the nice picture of, uh, of me and Dusty. Yeah. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Perfect. I can I can tell already how clean everything got. <laughs> nice and clean. <laughs> How much for the Power Ranger made? Like I said, at least a tenner. At least. So much. Like 10,000 is what I mean. Red Ranger will come and clean your house for about $10,000. Were those the dusters with the refills? Yes. <laughs> He even shined the YouTube plaque. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. The YouTube plaque was just getting all dingy because uh, I never I never shined it or fluffed it up or like did the fluffy duster on it. And um, yeah. Actually, uh, I have to go to the washroom. Can you guys stay here a moment? I'll be right back. Stay here.
What are you doing in here, Red Ranger? What are you doing? This is my desk. Oh, you're reading Halo The Fall of Reach. A classic novel. Great characters, great writing, uh, character development. Uh, not something that anyone has seen before. Yeah. The Brutal Covenant, Space Covenant, yeah. I know, it's a, it's a solid read. Uh, about a fourth grade reading level. <laughs> well, I hope you're liking it, because uh, I liked it enough. I liked it, and I I only got about a quarter way through. Um, it was a bit too difficult of a reading level for me. Mm. I see that you have your Red Ranger boots up on my desk. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, that's a particularly good chapter. I like it when uh, when he dies. Oh, sorry. You didn't know that? Well, I guess you don't have to read all four books. Uh, he's dead in all of them. <laughs> you can have that. Wow, naughty. Naughty ranger. So naughty. What a mess little red ranger made in here. Oh my god. He even drank my monster? Did he raid my fridge? Oh my god. That's where he got that. What do you even have here? <gasps> Are you making garbage here? Hold on a second, where's my frickin' cable? What the hell? Is garbage? Do you quit? Now all I have is garbage here. The Red Ranger just emptied a whole garbage bag on top of my head. You must didn't pay him for cleaning. No, you're right, I didn't. I don't have any cash. I don't have any money! You guys! <laughs> I need $10,000 to pay Red Ranger. Otherwise I have to deal with all this garbage by myself. Oh my God, there's so much in here. And it stinks like plastic. Oh no. And there's even a packing peanut in here, no. What is this? What a mess. Damn Red Ranger. I gotta put it all away now myself. Everything else is good. I don't think Red Ranger caused too much trouble while I was here. I saw that he was reading my book and drinking my drinks, and he had his little booties up on my deskie. But what I got was a big thing of water. Mmm. Oh, so fresh. So fresh. Mmm. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's the last we're gonna see of him, so I feel like, unless we get, oh, there's some more garbage behind me. Where'd he get it? This is a bunch of garbage. <laughs> Put on your Rita Repulsa outfit and zap! Red Ranger turned evil on me. No, he's not evil. Red Ranger is a mysterious spirit that inhabits that costume. He's a little spirit. Room cream cleaning simulator. <laughs> Red Power Ranger gets his cut, sure. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you for the 1111, Steve. For your expense to pay Red Ranger. Thank you very much. I will pay him 1111 now. Thank you, Steve, for the stream donation. Thank you for helping me pay Red Ranger for all that he's done. I'm gonna pay him that, but I don't have any money, like physical money. I could pay him in a raccoon, um, which is worth at least $10. This is my favorite little raccoon though. I could give him, uh, you know what I have? 
is that this fog liquid is worth $37. And Red Ranger, we know, likes to really huff the liquid. If I, I bet if I just turn this on, I bet if I turn this on, just a little bit. Oh, see, look, he comes running. He can't stop. He can't stop. Red Ranger has a fog addiction. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. He is just going crazy in that fog and laser. How can he even live? He is addicted to the propylene glycol and glycerin in that. He loves it. <laughs> See, I knew he'd come running. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be aimed just correctly now your turn okay now it's my turn sometimes it doesn't work I don't know why I think maybe it likes to get heat up, heated up or something. I have to wait a second. I'm pressing the button. Zordon would never approve this behavior. Zordon. Is Zordon his boss? Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Now this is the Power Ranger movie I paid for. <laughs> I like the fog. <laughs> I like this. I like this fog machine. It's good for a nice little fog, uh, a foggin', foggin' intermission. All the kids are huffing fog machine these days. Yeah, they are in huge amounts. It's the same material. It's the same liquid that's in vapes. So it's all good. You only get popcorn lung if you do it like every day. <laughs> so let's just do it every once in a while. A little bit of propylene glycol never hurt anybody. It's just a bit of glycerin. Glycerin's good. You put it on your skin, makes it all soft. Put it in your lungs, makes them all nice and soft and gl glossy. Glosses up your lungs. A fogathon! <laughs> Hi, Clever Oliver. You just missed the star of the show, the Red Ranger. Hmm. I just got to reset up my stuff because it got a little bit, uh, a little bit messy. Who doesn't want glossy lungs? Yeah, we'll go back to the game soon. Look what he did to your cup. <gasps> no! He wrote Ranger! And the Red Ranger on <laughs> top! <laughs> I didn't even see that! <laughs> Red Ranger, naughty. Ranger, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I'll fix it right up. I'll fix it. Oh, Red Ranger is a naughty little spirit. I told you. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Okay, it's back to Steve. And I'll put Red Ranger on the back here. Just so the Red Ranger spirit doesn't come to haunt me. In my sleep. <laughs> now no one will know. That's pretty good for wearing a mesh helmet. I know, not bad. Not bad at all. It's too bad I didn't have other colors for him. Justice for Red Ranger. 
Hey, Samuel Morales, 1998. Thank you for following on Twitch. I appreciate you. So you guys, if you're wondering what's going on, we're just having a slight intermission uh, between gaming and not. And uh, we'll go back to the game very uh, shortly. A minute longer and he was gonna hijack the Book of Souls also. <gasps> that would've been awful. He could have written whatever name he wanted to in the Book of Souls. Luckily, he didn't write Ruka's name. Ruka's soul belongs in the Book of Whiskas. <laughs> A GoFundMe for Red Ranger. <laughs> he needs about 10k. Your soul would have been gone forever. He could have written your name in it a hundred times. I better check the Book of Souls to make sure there was no shenanigans. No shenanigans, it is at peace still. Awuga, how are you? Please shout out Ash. Ash versus the evil bread is here. Wow, hello, welcome. Welcome, famous streamer Ash versus the evil bread. With your excellent dancing, much better than mine, much better. I'm great today. I hope you're well too, Ash. Very good. Yesterday I was all full of allergies and tiredness and I didn't feel very good. But I still streamed and I was just so sleepy the whole time. But today I feel a lot better. Like way better. What does the ranger, Red Ranger need 10k for? A giant robot? Yeah, no, he needs it for his fog juice addiction. He needs to go through at least one of those bottles per day. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Hey, G-Man, thank you for the 10 super chats. Thank you kindly for that. Nice to see you. Thank you. Ash says, I just move my arms and body like it's on, oh, I move my arms like my body is on fire and bang my head because I'm slightly crazy, only slightly. Hey, banging your head makes you only slightly crazier. So bang away. Red Ranger do dick butt on the last page of the Book of Souls. He did not. There's no way. I will draw that myself from memory. <laughs> okay, you guys, back to the red game. Back to the game where everything is red for now. What a beautiful, beautiful intermission we had. I'm all refreshed. My eyes are all refreshed. My soul is now refreshed. And now let's go save our soul in this church of whatever it is. How is Madison, by the way? Um, it has its moments. It's, uh, the puzzles are really good and confusing. Like, the puzzles are, mo are not like, here, sit in front of this puzzle and do a puzzle. It's like, the entire level is a puzzle, and if you're not paying attention to every single thing you do, you can fail it. Um, whereas in, like, Resident Evil, for instance, you're put in front of something that you have to, like, organize, in a way. <laughs> Thank you. Clever Oliver. Thank you for the $28 stream donation. I appreciate you very much. Thank you kindly. 28. Oh yeah. Thanks, Clever. Heck yes. All right, Jesus, man, angels. 
Um, I only have two candles, so I can't do a full puzzle. Unless I just put them down first, what I got. Red room, gotta love a red room. Yeah, I love a red room. I love a green room too. So nothing happened. I got nothing. I wonder if I could take a picture of this area. Nothing happened. Nothing. It's not a very wide photo, so I can't see much. Okay, so I don't know what to do next. Um, I have to look at other areas of the map. Basically. There's a puzzle here, but I can't find the third candlestick. You have an idea, Soylent? Okay, let's hear it. If you've never played the game, you are totally free to uh, give me ideas if you've got crazy ideas. And then if you have played the game when I get stuck and ask, please, uh, please do help me. I wonder if we place a candle and photo it would light up. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Do you think they would light because of the photo? I'll try that. I'll place a candle and, and take a picture of it. So I've been in, wait, I am in confessionary right now. If yellow maze is there. Ash versus the evil bread has become a part of the soul book. Welcome, Ash. Ash became a special member on my YouTube channel. Welcome to the Book of Souls. Thank you. Special member, Ash. Okay, I almost, uh, I did run out of space. I did run out of space, but I did get most of your name minus one letter in the Book of Souls. It still counts. Nine out of ten uh, is still true. Uh, soul acquisition equals yes. It works. Thank you, Ash. Welcome to your green name. And you, now you get a special role in my Discord. If you didn't already have one. Thanks. The Book of Souls claims another. Hey, Troger Joe, thank you for following on Twitch. The last candlestick is in the conservatory with Colonel Mustard. <laughs> Am I backwards or what here? Let's see. <clears throat> Let's go to the bell tower. That's the bell tower, yeah. Okay, this is where I got the info. The color of death. The color of wine. The color of Jesus' blood. Oh, I didn't like that when I did that. Something happened. Or it did like that, but it got upset still. Okay, red. Whenever something crazy happens, if you take a picture of it, you know you did something right. Green! Oh, it's green there. The angels is green. So I gotta find a green candle. Was it always green in the clock tower? I don't know why, but saying welcome to the Book of Souls in a cheery, enthusiastic voice is exponentially more terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's more like a welcome. A welcome, you're condemned. A visit our biblical art mazes. Um, yellow maze. I'll draw this too. Oh, I'm so bad at rotating these all the time. <laughs> yellow maze. Yellow maze is like this. My pen.
Okay. I drew that just just in case. Jesus. Nice picture. Hey, Nulika. Okay, so nothing happens when you take a picture of the bell. Or that bell. Foundation stone again? That's where I came from. Oh, can I time travel? Oh shit, another candle right here. Hey, where'd the candle go? I just saw it right there. Upskirt photos of St. Jupiter's balls. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> That's the yellow. I already got that drawn. So I went to 1951. Oh, hey. Someone's in there crying. I already got the green one drawn. Confess. Hello. Ex excuse me. Be again, my mother. Nancy. I did it. I, 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 I finally did it. I, It was like living with a monster. No, he never loved me. He was a liar. He lied to me. He lied to you. He lied to everyone. He he was a liar. He, he lied to himself. He tried to pretend he didn't have the past. He did. He was a, a vile, disgusting, despicable piece of garbage. Well, you know, he just wanted to marry me. To get away from his crimes, he knew he couldn't stay in Germany. He, he knew, he knew his past was coming to get him. He knew it. He, knew, he, he tried to pretend it was all gone, but it wasn't gone. It chased him, it haunted him, it haunted me. Father, you have to understand. It. He was in charge of a gas chamber. He took so many innocent lives. He destroyed them. He just... Who could do that? There were days I would look into his eyes and I would see a void. Emptiness. Just nothing looking back at me. He was already dead. Only God knows how many lives he had taken, but not anymore. I made sure he would not hurt another person. I made sure that he suffered. <laughs> Wow. I know God will forgive me for my sins. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Wow. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, I have to go through all the mazes now again. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom this goes to the bell tower. Your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
the color of light, the color of the sun, the color of our Father Lord. That's yellow. God, yellow. The color of the sky, the color of the sea, the color of Mary's tears. Blue. Right, makes sense. Mary blue. That's locked. Okay, I got two more solutions. You used to recite that in Spanish when you still went to church? Yeah, I used to have to say, we were forced to say that at school growing up. <laughs> a little bit, bit of a different version. Okay, I'm in the blue. So, the blue shouldn't have a direction. Keep walking into dead ends here. Maybe there's nothing in blue. I don't have the lighter for the dark areas. No, it took it away from me. What a stupid thing. Okay, so I didn't come across anything in blue. But do check here for candles. I'm not seeing anything. Why maze map though and maze so small? Uh, well that's weird because I don't have the red maze written down. But the red maze I think is not complicated. Or maybe it is. Usually if you just keep sticking to the right wall. There. Okay, no candle in here, but... I don't have the colors of the candles that I need. Can I take a picture? Oh yeah, I was gonna try to see if I could take a picture of a candle um, when it's sitting there. Oh yeah, unfortunately it doesn't light it. Right, God's yellow, Jesus red, Mary blue. Do I have blue? Oh, I do have a blue candle. Maybe I could put them in here. Something happens. Hey, that lit! That lit. That's good. And it won't let me pick it up, but it'll let me pick these ones up. Okay, maybe whatever color area you're in, you have to put that candle in. According to the thing, the picture. So, that did something. Take a picture of the candle lit to see if anything happens? Okay, that's a good idea. 
Anything happen? Nothing. Something is bound to happen, though, taking pictures of anything. Anything there? Nope. Okay, let's try the green area and see. Do I have a green candle? Yellow. I have yellow and blue. So maybe I'll find a green candle in here. I don't think we've been in here in this era. The green maze is simple. Um, according to my drawing, it is just, uh, you come straight in and then there is a box, a square around here. Okay, there's the Jesus there. There's the God and, okay, I'll try putting the candles that I have down here. Nothing happened, cause I don't have that last candle that got that got stuck there. Maybe that's nothing. Do I have a camera like that in real life, a Polaroid? Yeah, I do. I have the old, exactly like this old one, and then I also have one of the newer snap uh, cameras. I forget what it's called, Fuji Film Insta X. Okay, yellow hallway. Oh, you have one too now? Nice. They're fun. Hard to find film for the old ones. But you can find it. Okay, got Mary, angels, Jesus. Let's try the blue candle here. Oh no, yellow wasn't for the angels. Side of the film, do you also need to purchase ink cartridges? Yes. Uh, no, no, the um, the Insta X one, it's just film. But I have a photo printer that you need ink for. Mm. Okay, I think I went in all of them in this era. Maybe you're only supposed to do one of those candle activations per era. Wait, what's that? Our Father here. in heaven. He is here. Your, name. your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where? Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Is there a floating candlestick over there? 
on Earth as it is in heaven. I need that. That's the one I need. How did I not see that before? Hey, who's that? Another candle. Who was that? And is it a green candle? It is green. So which did I go to? That green. Wait, who gets green? I don't have anything. Anybody that says they get green. Maybe that's for a different area. Unless I go to the green. <laughs> hey. My, my, my hand. He caught me. What the fuck was that? I, I gotta get out of this place. <laughs> Our father. Who the fuck? Let's go then. I'm in 1951. Um, I'll go back to 87. Is he here too? <sighs> when we snapped the angels we thought were white, the color turned out green. Did it? <sighs> Shit, so I gotta remember which one I saw angels in the, at the head? Let me go back to the green maze, I guess. Otherwise, uh, I don't think there was anything at the 2022 one. You love the photo printer? Yeah, it works really well. Okay, so the red uh, Jesus one went in the red hallway. The green angel one went in the green hallway. So I gotta look for blue and yellow hallway. Maybe I can do it now. Working. The only candle I got left is blue, so let's go place a blue one. Oops, dead end. I'm making him run, so he's really breathing really heavily. Let him catch his breath. Back to running. Should be the Mary 
Or no, there's no. It's only angels, God, and Jesus here. Shit, I thought there'd be a Mary. So then which one does that go in? Does it go in a different era? They ought to have removed the head bob physics. Vision doesn't behave as soon as we walk RL. Yeah, that's my least part, favorite part. I wish that they would have that off. It was making me kind of queasy yesterday. That Mary pick scare the shit out of you when you turn and run against it? <laughs> I'll try to time travel back and see if I can go to the blue room in the other area. I am still missing. Okay, take me back to this place. I don't think that there was any candles in this area. No. We gotta go back to... Oh, I only have one option here. 87, let's go to 51. Uh, which was the blue hallway again? Oh, this blue? It's gotta be this. If it's not this, I don't know. That's got to be it. Yeah. Oh, we did it. Okay, that was the last candle. Oh, the bell's ringing. The bell. Let's go see the bell. In 2022 now. He hit us so hard we time traveled. Well, that's cool. So what does this mean for us? Um, we read that. Mm-hmm.
Well, maybe there's something else. Maybe there's a new place we can time travel to. It wants me to go back to 1987? We can go back to whichever one they want. I just don't remember what my next thing to do is. What's this? Oh, I can close that door. So that still is missing the eye. And I can find that eye somewhere. Mm-hmm. So we saw a guy in a gas mask. That was the guy that uh, was killed by the woman that was um, confessing. Maybe... I'll go to the bell tower. Oh yeah, because we were just coming out and looking. We wanted to go to the bell tower because we heard it ringing and then that guy came up to us. What's that there? Key. Confessionary key. Cool. Okay, a key to confessionary. I didn't realize that there was a locked confessionary door somewhere. Imagine playing this at night with the lights out at midnight and having headphones on a bit loud. Wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. No way. Okay, confessionary key, where is that supposed to be? Right where I am. But the only key that we have... I'm gonna have to go back to the 50s. Hi, tiger. I'm coming for you, gas mask man! Let's see who's in here. Who killed you? Nobody. Hans Goring? A, and that, that eye does not fit. Give me that eye. Oh no! <laughs> Where are you? I'm gonna get a picture of you. Hey! Come on. God damn it. I don't know if that's coming through the picture of you! I got a picture of him. times are you gonna get stabbed? I wonder if you're supposed to run from him because I was just standing there like an idiot. You're probably supposed to run from it. Whatever, I got the key. I opened the thing. I got the eye. It's all good. Madison Hill, 1944-1987. Cool. Good job! What did we do? It's a good picture. 
Maybe I'm supposed to photograph it better. totally thought that was in the game. Thank you very much, Madison, Steve, for the 80. Time for a swig of a nice cold one. Cheers and salute. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you, Megan. Hope you're enjoying the game. I am enjoying the game. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Oh, a skull! Her skull. Maybe. What else is there of hers? Is this her bone? What am I gonna do with a skull? Is there like a skulltorium we take it to? Oh, there's a door at the end of here. Ah, uh, that door wasn't there before. Hey, it's the house. This picture shows nothing. Okay, now we gotta go down the wibbly wobbly hallway. And a brick wall. No, Bricks. I'm... Push through. You're the Kool-Aid man. <sighs> yep, just another brick in the wall. Um, hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm going to look at each picture. Cadabra. Okay. That's not the solution. I'm gonna just smell the bricks. <sighs> Smells bricky. Hmm. It looks like my background. Kinda, yeah, it's kind of the same bricks. Similar. I took a picture of the bricks. And a fucking another brick here. It's sealed off. Oh, of course it is. So then. Let's see, do I have to find out? Is there any odd one out? Woman in the diamond, man in the circle, baby in the square. Grandma in the hexagon. Yeah, you're searching for a sus pick too. I'm I'm searching for a sussy pick. Grandma, baby, man, woman, grandma, baby, man, 
Man, woman, grandma, baby, man. Woman, grandma, baby, man. Man, woman, grandma, baby, man, man, woman. Okay, what if, what if it's on the other side? Okay, baby, woman, grandma. Okay, I don't think there's any sussy pictures. I think I'm just having to run back and forth in the hallway as the game. Because as soon as he said what, the door was gone. What? None of the pictures appear to be fake. This is just a game of run back and forth in the hallway. It's locked! Okay. Where's my lighter? Oh good, I don't need that. Thank you for lighting the way, gas mask man! Whoever you are. Whatever your name was that we forgot and stole your eye out of your name. Oh fuck. Bricks? Again? Bricks? Damn psycho mantis. <laughs> yeah. Wait, maybe you're not supposed to get caught by him this time. Bricks. Again. It's sealed off. Okay. Now when I go back here, the door will be gone. No, the door's still there. Bricks. Psycho Mantis. <laughs> now, there's the door. It's gone. What? So, if I see the guy, what do I do? Run from him or run to him or... Take a picture of him, maybe? He died again. So you can actually interact with enemies in this. In a way. What happens if you take a picture of the brick wall behind the door? I did that already. Nothing happened. Unless I have to take pictures of multiple brick walls. gonna read our memory card better not I'm not sure how to get away from him Close me in there. Wall hack. <sighs> I 
What? So let's see if he comes and gets us no matter where we go. And at what point does he come to us? Does it have anything to do with the way the lights are flickering? I'm thinking it has to do with the light, yeah, but I'm wondering... The pattern of that light. One, two... One, two, three, four, one... No! Oh! So I was too long in the... guess for what it is, but that light didn't really stay on very long. And is it because you're not supposed to move? Maybe you can only move when the light is, uh... Bricks? I wonder. <sighs> it's sealed off. I wonder how you can predict the lights. What? Does using the camera turn the lights on at all? Is it just that one? <sighs> hey, there is a point that the light stays on for like three seconds. Okay, when it does that big flicker after doing, yeah. Hey, what the hell, was that a leaf floating by? Is this PT? No, is it similar? PT inspiration. Did you guys get scared? It's 
sealed off. I feel like I made it further that time, but once I got to the door, it just it just grabbed me no matter what. Do you think maybe it's sealed off if the light goes out? When does it disappear? <sighs> PT takes place in the hall of a home in a loop. Oh, that's the door that disappears. Oh, okay, that's the door I gotta go to. This time I should see if I could just stand underneath that light. And also, how far away from this one can I go? <sighs> I'm trying to figure out which flicker means that it's going to stay on the longest, but none of them really do. That one. That one do. supposed to do here? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I felt like I made it. I made it to the door and it, the light was still on it felt like. I need some back seating. Is there not time just to turn and run? Well, can I... You think I should run away from it? Is that your idea? Crouching? There's no crouching. Bricks. <sighs> it's sealed off. Okay, now this next door is going to be disappeared. Halfway through that flickering light, we book it. You mean to turn around? Because you have to trigger it first, right? What? But if I turn around and run, there's no, um... I just don't think there'll be enough time to turn because it's like once I once you see a thing I try I've been trying to take pictures of it to try to scare it but um, that doesn't work I'll just run at it and then turn around no Can go. 
The attic. <laughs> the attic. Oh, shit. So you were supposed to run from it. Weird. I didn't think that was going to be a thing. Amazing. I'm glad we're back in the house, though. Because there's other shit to do here. Like a skull. A shovel. Madison's skull. Ooh. I'm glad we're back in the house, though, because there's so much stuff that we left behind. Should stream PT. It only takes, like, an hour. Yeah, I can't get a hold of it. I don't know how. Hey, Annie. Unless you have to emulate it, then I could do that. But I I just haven't looked into PT at all. The safe's in Grandpa's office. Hey, I gotta answer the phone! Maybe I can get it. John. 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 This is the fourth time I've tried to call you. Ooh. Priest Thomas speaking. I was able to finally get the information you asked for, and the truth is, the truth is, I'm worried about your family. Generally speaking, demons try to complete simple rituals to break the bondage of their souls. Ooh. To carry out this ritual, you must rid yourself of an object with important sentimental value to you. Oh. Offer it as a sacrifice. There were practitioners of witchcraft who became haunted as a result of their thievery and dishonesty. They used to steal jewelry from ancient dynasties as to avoid performing the sacrifice directly for themselves with their own sentimental objects. They bought the sacrifice with the emotions of others. But this perverse being is trying to go beyond even that. We are speaking of an ancient ritual of which very little is known. Seven sacrifices, seven mutilations. Seven I believe we are facing a, a, a body exchange type of ritual. Madison Hale was trying to complete such a ritual Whoa. before she was murdered. And now she is forcing your child to finish it for her. She is trying to steal your son's body. Call me as soon as you get this message. Is that what she's after? <laughs> we have a son? Hey, the statue! Get over here. What are you doing there? What are you doing? That is some voicemail from Dad. Is it blocking me from going in the basement? Hey, it's gone! Where is it? Where'd that fucking statue go? Well, that's voicemail to dad. Our dad is John. We are the son, Luca. Oh, that's why I was like, Luca has a son? Shit. Yeah, okay. A body sacrifice. We didn't find a new tape or anything, did we? No. The next thing I gotta do, uh, I have no idea, but we'll find out. I know I have to open those safes in Grandpa's basement. And I gotta figure out what the fuck this means. Blue knees is real. Then we need to figure out how to open this toilet to get a wallet out. And then we have to figure out what to do with the skull. So, a skull would go in the basement. No, I don't think it goes in the basement.
I'll try going this way. Maybe when you see the statue move around, it might be a hint. <laughs> thank you. Hey, thank you, Nick McDonald. Let's go, miss. Yeah. Thank you very much. The head bob camera makes it seem like he walks like a penguin. Yeah, he does. He does. And he also has really squishy, heavy feet. Or the carpet's wet. Okay, so we gotta open up the toilet. Uh, that's not gonna work. This is still... Oh, it's not having its issue anymore. That's good. Grandpa's safes. Okay, no update on Grandpa's safes. Got that already. Open it slowly. No. Oh, okay. So let's pretend we knew the combination. You know where to find it. Where the clock strikes 10. But I don't know what that means. Um, what I do have written down is... Oof, where did that go? Well, we had eight left, eight right, eight something, something like that. Um, you guys, what is your favorite passcode? Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? What, eight, and then 10? No, it is not. If we're not meant to know the safe code, then we're not meant to know it yet. But I'm still trying to figure out what exactly we're supposed to do right now. So the only action that we saw was the, that statue moving. Uh, we came in through the attic. And hey, the statue's back. Hello. Take its picture. You just want access to my email. What's your favorite password? Of your email and bank. Hey, what's that? Never saw that before. Grandpa never got over her death. That's Grandma. Uh, Elizabeth Maxwell, 1968. Statue is best character. Yeah, look, it's gone again. That dastardly statue. See, I thought that the statue was going to be telling me where to go. Oh, we still got to get in this room. Hey, the statue! Get off of there! What? You're way too heavy for that statue. What are you doing? Okay, where's the statue going to be next? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's your password. Nice. Corn's chosen. No one will get into your accounts with that. Okay, you know where to find it at 10 o'clock, which it is not 10 o'clock. It is almost... What the... F okay. Open it up! Your password is 1 through 9 as well. Wow, you guys. How are you such good cryptographers? Put the skull in the toilet. Take a picture of the bathtub. What was the Resident Evil 2 downstairs code? Got a collectible red! Uh, let Resident Evil 2 downstairs code? Where's that other red one? I'm just trying to figure out how you make the next action happen. I don't know where the skull goes. Where do we see a skeleton? <sighs> oh, 
We could go back to that well, I, or I don't know if you want to let me go back there. I'll go back down to the basement. That gosh dang statue better not be in here. Oh, it's locked now. Okay. All right, so it's not the basement. I guess I'll go back to the attic. Dang. Put the skull on the statue? No, I, I tried. It doesn't let you just... Unless there's like a prompt, it, it doesn't seem to let you just put stuff stu uh, somewhere. Knees is real. What does it say? Bazinga? Hello, Robert Mondavi. This reminds you of PT? Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Also, blinding woman's wedding ring she wrote, she hid it underneath blank, scratched out. Yeah, I know, I've been looking for it too. Anytime I see something that looks like I can pick it up, I, I'm definitely doing it, but underneath something? I don't know. What could it say? It could say anything. You think it looks like a four? Um, I guess the big part on the left of it could be the four. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to actually get the, the code from this. Cause like, I bet they're just trying to fuck with you a bit. The second one looks like a four, really. Four right, eight left. But on a combination, is there not three numbers? All right, four right, eight left. PT, does, play, does, that, does that stand for playable teaser? Maybe the last number is a 10 from the clock picture. Yeah, from the clock picture or the fact that it showed a clock with nine o'clock. Stuck at nine. Hey. Why are you always in there? The fact that the statue keeps walking around in this area, I feel like that does mean that I might be in the right area. That I am supposed to kind of be on this side. The clock drawing point at 10, but any clock at 10, we haven't known uh, how to open clocks anyway. Yeah, right? We don't know that. So let's try four right. One, two, three, four. Eight left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then 
Am I doing a clock right? Am I doing this right? <laughs> um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'd rather just spin it around and just have it open. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, yeah, and like at the very beginning, do you think that uh, on that notepad there was the big part scribbled out? Yeah, how are you supposed to know which is for the red or the green? Must be the other one. Um, the thing is, I think that the, the notepad had a green spiral on it. And so that could represent the green safe. Do I have a red basement key? No, I don't have any key. I have a skull. The red basement's locked. I was just down there. Like, what kind of hole is that? And what time is this supposed to be? I can't tell the difference between the minute and the second. No, there's no second hand. There's only hour hand. I think that says... 8.20? 8.20? The statue could be trying to take your attention to the place where it is. That's what I was thinking. Does this notebook say where to go next? Um, I will check. Statue's still there, so the statue is saying, yeah, come and hang out at this area. I'll check his notebook. Yeah. I don't remember drawing any of these. The last time we knew Am what I what to do. Going insane. It said go in the attic. I have the broken shovel and the hammer, yeah. Yeah, give me a small hint on uh, where to walk next, and I'll do that, and I'll, and then don't tell me anything else. If you want to see what's happening next. Statue's gone? Where is the statue now? Always there. You know where the red basement key is, too? Nice. I'll find it somewhere. I just know that it must be somewhere on this side of the house because the statue only stays here. I don't think the statue comes out to play. I already got that. I think. This? Didn't I already get a key from in here? Like, last stream? Other closet?
red scarier there. I'm not sure what this hint that you guys are helping me with is going towards. closet oh okay nice good hint guys I would have never seen this basement key oops take it I think there's something else under that plank well let's use our shovel or hammer really there's two planks so far that we can't open up because we don't have something good hints guys good hints To the basement. But that statue was telling us to go to the safe, so maybe. Maybe we're wrong about the statue theory. There's nothing spooky in the basement, don't worry. It'll be fine. I just gotta take some murderer's skull down here. Oh, a new area. Hey, this wasn't in here before. This used to be something else. The crowbar is in the basement. What the hell is this place? What the fuck? Oh no, everything's moving! If you have epilepsy, do not watch the stream right now. Crowbar is in the basement, it says. Oh, there's my safe. Things get really spooky when you move this light ball around. Oh, you're coming. Find me that crowbar, bitch. I can't see it. Is that it? Oh shit, there it is! Yoink. Got it.
Now I just have to take it somewhere. going away Now what? Oh, the statue. Hello, statue. The comic relief. Is it breathing? photo taken. Hey, there it is. Oh. Okay, pose again. <laughs> hey. Um. That one. Take that picture. I gotta take a picture of the one that's breathing. I think. <laughs> oh no. I got out. Okay, I got a crowbar. And I know what to do with it. Woman. She doesn't show in the photos. Somehow the photos of her. Oh, who did that? Okay, I know two places to use a crowbar. One on the upstairs. And then one in that closet where I got the key. Hey, HKL Bleach, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. There's a little creaky floorboard here, it needs to get lifted. What's that? And we found. Ah! Uh, find this. Do not listen. Well, no, I will listen. I will definitely listen right now. Watch this weird tape trick I can do with my hand. Oh, I'm still losing my mind. Grandma? Grandma? I cannot trust anyone. What song is it? Oh, Boonies, this 
behind and we'll find what he's been looking for God. for so long all alone where he belongs oh please is behind and we'll find what he has been looking for oh the kitchen where he's written this song just for you Hmm. That doesn't sound like a very good thing. At all. Uh, but that didn't offer me any other... ...actionable... Mm, ...orders here. Um... Is she talking about the Macarena? No, she's talking about the song that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. Hey, the thing's here for... You're here for dinner! You guys, I have to go to the washroom. Let's see. Can you just stay here and watch the statue? Or do you want to watch this? What are the chances you can use that crowbar like Gordon Freeman? <laughs> I'm gonna say a big fat zero. I'll be right back in a minute, um, and I won't be long. Just stay here. Thank you for waiting. Thanks for waiting, it wasn't long. So our next uh, order of business is I gotta take the crowbar to the bedroom and lift up that um, plank in the closet here. Let's see. Oh, what is that? Oh, the is ring! The she mentioned in her diary. Yeah. It is underneath the floorboard. Elizabeth and Albert Maxwell. So this could be the very special item we're supposed to sacrifice. Oh no! God. Uh, my, 
my eyes, my eyes burn. God, I, I need to get out of this fucking house. Open the notebook. Oh, is that an eye? What the fuck? Is there an eye in the house somewhere that I don't know about? Oh man. Jeez. What was that big creek? Here's the eye picture. Right eye 95%, left eye 87%. Hey, that was rude. Bunch of rude fucking ghosts. Get some Visine. Okay, that's actionable. I can find Visine. I'm gonna go to the toilet and splash some toilet water in my eyes. Maybe I can crowbar this off. What? That's not what the crowbar's for. That's totally what the crowbar's for. Stop closing my fucking doors. Use the bleach in the cupboard. Ah! We opened the kitchen cupboard, but then we BRB didn't look in the kitchen cupboard. No, we couldn't because uh, that chain didn't open. Because did we try to do that? Did it actually work? We need something else. Did you read the book yet? book and I should I backtrack Who's in there? Who did this? Where, where did these come from? Also, what's that? Oh, another triangle I'm key. Too much already. Okay. Nice. Body exchange ritual. A sentimental object. So we have a ring. Seven sacrifices. Oh dear. We don't have that many legs. Two bodies, a guest and a host. Human ashes. Well, I don't have everything. I do have that skull. Okay. Oh, I see. Items need to go on there. 
cool. Okay, so let's see. Seven sacrifices. There's no specific number, so I just said I can put him anywhere. All right. Put the skull on that. Did it like it? Then put the ring on that one. That looks remarkably like the Book of Souls. Hmm. It does indeed. Is it a recipe? Yeah, it's like a recipe. Okay, I got another key. Grandpa. But I don't have human ashes. And I don't have the code to that. So let's go open that door that I see over here. Maybe now we can go to a different area of the house here. Ooh. Previously unbeknownst to me. Hey, what's going on here? This is from Grandma's diary. June 15. I hate when Albert spends the night working. Once it gets dark, it's like the world turns upside down. There are creaky noises all over the house, and the house... I know my sight is getting worse, but yesterday I got lost in my own home, and it's not because of my sight. The rooms are moving around. I couldn't even find my own bedroom. We are not safe in here. Not anymore. Not with this thing living among us. Albert got mad at me for lighting candles up all over the house, but for some reason I think light protects us. Ooh. For some reason... Thank you for opening that door, ghost. There Bolt cutters! Yes, I need those. Oh, and we can do power stuff. Ooh, can I touch the saw? Down, 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 down. Down, 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 up, up. Down, 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 up, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, up, down. Up. Up, up, down, up, down, down. Yay! Bolt cutter, photos. What should I cut? The hammer, instant camera, the crowbar, bolt cutter. I have nothing to cut. I could cut arms. I cut my own arm off. Maybe I could cut open those uh, boxes that I got. I need the body parts. I know exactly where the body parts are. Because the body parts are photographed in the safe. Maybe it wants those. But I'm pretty sure I can cut those boxes, that rusted box, open. This one, the moon box. Sun box. I'm carrying too much already. Oops. Is it a tape in the sun box? Let me just store something real quick. Um, like the shovel. See these pictures of those? That's the body parts, and then I'm assuming that when I cut open- oh. Uh, 
I assume when I cut that open, there's gonna be ashes inside. These must be Madison's victims. More body parts. But they look burnt or something. Oh wait, they all started crying blood. Okay, they liked it. They liked it. Something's knocking on that door. Who is it? I need to find the four digits to open this door. They must be somewhere. Do we really want to open that? There's someone in there banging. And not the good kind. Okay, let's go use those bolt cutters to open up two different things. The toilet and the kitchen. the ring. Yeah, I stuck it on there. Oh, it's just a little red photo for a collectible. Okay. Little secret item. Do not use, it says. I don't have to listen to you. You're not my real dad. Oh, look at that. Look at the size of that. Imagine how horrible that would have been to pass. Is it a curling rock? It's a weight of some kind. And what was it doing in there? How many times? I have to tell you, there's nobody in this house. Al I'm done with your bullshit. Albert, listen to me. Just a book. A fucking book, Elizabeth. See? There's no one here. It doesn't exist. It's not real, goddammit. I know. Everything that's happening to me has something to do with it. I just know it. It's a disease, Elizabeth. You are sick, for the Lord's sake. Not sick. You'll end up losing your mind if you don't cut the crap book has nothing to do with your illness. I wish you stopped acting like a child. Stop hiding our stuff and take your goddamn pill. Jeez! Do you, do you think it's normal? Do you think pupils vanish like dust? I'm telling you that that, that fucking thing is what's causing Enough, this for me. Enough, Elizabeth. Stop acting like a ten-year-old and go to bed. Albert, everything started the day we brought that Fucking book to this house! It's a disease, Elizabeth. If you don't sick. believe me, I will leave this place. I'm done. And I'm taking Johnny with me. We are not staying hey, hey, here! Hey, wait a minute. This is. This is You're paranoid, Ellie. It's 4 a.m. Go back to bed before we wake up Johnny. Come on. Talk about this. You're gonna regret this. You'll end up all alone. Just you and your stupid fucking clock. Grandma. Fine, I'll 
I'll close the toilet. I know it stinks. Okay, so grandma was a sailor. <laughs> yeah, basically. You and your fucking clocks! Let me in the clock room then. I want to go in there. So that book that she was talking about. Maybe it was the book that, uh... Hmm. The book that told us how to do the sacrifice? That's loud. I'm not letting you in here. I'm gonna look at this book again. Body exchange. Human ashes. Can you go back to the table saw? Yeah, sure, I'll go look at it. Extra saw blade there. Um, concrete block. Yeah, I don't think you can use it here, unfortunately. Already did that a while ago. We opened that box and then we um, we put it on here already. Remember? And we stuck it on that statue. Now I've got a concrete block. Clearly, the book was a possessed item. The demon transferred itself into her. I think the book is her now. That's her, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Yeah, I already opened up the box of the saw. This one? See, it's open. Unless the saw has a diamond blade, you won't be cutting through concrete. Well, you can't do that? Then how do they cut through concrete? I'll take my shovel and leave all the tapes in there. I've just got to think, where did I see something that needs a concrete block? We could throw it through a window. Keep it open! Oh, nobody wants a picture of that. Ugh. There is no need to cut off the power now. I mean, there's other concrete blocks here. Hey, Jay Bones. Thank you for following on Twitch. in the basement here again. 
There's a lot of concrete down here. Maybe I'll go to the attic. You said to keep looking in places that you haven't been and something will have changed and then you'll be like, oh, that's where that goes. It seems like the best options. I'll check the attic, then I'll check where um, the safes are. Okay, that's a dead end closet. Okay, so that's nothing. I guess nothing in the attic. I'll go see the safe area now. Quick, that toilet needs to be quarantined. It already was, and we released the quarantine along with whatever else toilet poop ghosts were in there. Did I get tape number three? I got the tape that said do not listen. And we listened to it. Like I put all my tapes away. Here, the concrete block could do. You think I should listen to the tape again? I could try, got nothing to lose. I'll just go to the tape player and see which one is in there. That says June 22nd, 1972. If you find this, do not listen. I need to make room first. Oh, I don't have any space. Um... Okay, that's number two, tape number one, number two. Oh, so I only have tape one and two in that one. Put that away. Those can go away for now. Although, I wonder if it's supposed to, maybe I use the bolt cutter on that lock? I don't think so, no, because it doesn't let me do that. It doesn't prompt you for an item. Yeah, 
yeah, this just prompts you for the code. Even if I wanted to, I can't pick up those items. And this book doesn't tell me anything new. Um... I mean, the numbers are probably 19-something, so... Will it click when you get it? It wouldn't take very long to... to guess. It's probably 1980. You, you're probably not supposed to get it. I think you have to check the cassette player. Um... Because the cassette player has my other tape in it. Yeah, it's not tape number three, it just says do not listen. Tell me where three is? Sure. Mods or Meg, what are the rules of guessing in chat? Um, I, if I ask for it, it's fair game. You can say whatever you want. Um, and, uh, if you've never played it before, it would be cool if you guessed and stuff. That's perfectly fine. As long as you don't spoil the ending of the game, I really don't care. If, but if you're like, oh no, the thing you're looking for is actually right over there. I don't mind. Because if I ever don't want to know, I just won't look at the chat. Oh, I, mi I just missed it. It was sitting on a windowsill. Oh, so... I didn't even see that. That's a good tip. I walked by that so many times. Okay, let's play that shit. Number three. All right, let's progress. John, I must stress to you how dangerous these demons really are. I've witnessed a few exorcisms in my time. Not everyone lived to tell the tale. These beings are not alive, and that makes them stronger than us. They entertain themselves with us. They enjoy our fear, causing us pain. They feed off of it. It gives them power. It gives them strength. When one of them becomes attached to one of us, it's all but impossible to stop. They play with our bodies and minds. Does this mean that... Until they find what they were that looking that for. is attached to the no camera? <laughs> attached to me? beyond everything Whoops. we know. John, I implore She's you. She's no longer human. Seek she... help. <laughs> I'll investigate that woman you told me about, um, you know, Madison Hale, and I'll get back to you as soon as I find something. Keep all of this information away from your son. Mm. Get rid of that camera as soon as you get this message, but please, please do be careful. If your child has already had contact with this entity... Get rid of it, but then life, they gave it to me for my birthday? ...and your families 
are in Mom. jeopardy. Chanel. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I need to find a way to end this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it burns. He's having an attack. <laughs> My body burns. Uh, 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 horns? Uh oh. I think I've seen something like this in the house. What? Oh, I've not seen horns in the house. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah, I know. I know where I've seen horns. Right there. Ah! <laughs> number two. Hey, that means take a number two. What does that mean? No, 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 not, not again. No. Fuck! I, I can't feel my fingers. What is happening to my body? My fingers! No! Uh, I, I don't know what this could mean. A red light. There was a red light, but everything was dark. I have to go turn off the generator. The red light only comes on when the Jenny is down. Is there a red light in here? What's making it red? Oh, this red light? The, the doorbell. Oh god, where's the doorbell? I, I gotta get to the front door. Uh, this way? Where's the front door? This? Did my elevator just get stuck? Oh no, it's going. This elevator is the scariest part of the game. I hate elevators. His body was dismembered as well. Hey, I didn't bring any tools with me. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. I can't unhear that. 
His body was dismembered as well. Shit, was I supposed to bring a fucking hammer? on this one. You. 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 Oh, there's a noose. You. Oh, in that picture there's a noose. Or in the mirror. It does look like a combo lock, yeah. I wonder if this tells me the combo. I want to go to the fourth floor. The young man died instantly. That's three. His body was dismembered as well. Two. The third victim was a 27 year old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp arm. to do yet, but 
I have to still Alexander, go to the first floor now. To her body of it. I think I went backwards. I think I went to the top first. Okay, we're on the first floor, so I was assuming that you see one. And then there's four, three, two. So clockwise, it goes one, two, three, four. Maybe I just have to go back to get my, uh, stuff. I have a hammer, but I, I put it away. I just have to go get it. The first time I put it away... Oh right, the basement. I gotta put the power back on. Um... It won't? Now I have to go through here. I gotta go through here and uh, find where the, uh, the safe is. That's the first one that got me. That was pretty good. I, that was, I really didn't expect that. Most of the jump scares I've been expecting. We put an item away and we need it. It's always like that. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. Always. I don't have any room for that. Okay. What else could I put away? Oh, a tape. Okay, they can't possibly. Well, now I'm eight out of eight. I should probably have. Stop closing the door on me. Uh, maybe the bolt cutters is what I don't need. Probably. If the hammer is not what I need, then I'm gonna be confused. Way. Fucking again. That's the exact same one that they did before. I will need the bolt cutters soon. What, like in this place? Whether the photos were part of the rights she was carrying out. 
If only we're supposed to merely look at the right people, the victim design on each floor, and we accidentally got one of them when we looked at the coffin and got snatched, no? Yeah, I don't know. said that I could poke it more. Fourth floor. One single date. 2001. Or the other ones have a single date? single one of these I don't know what to do because we saw this one we saw the thing get uh, snatched away
before disposing of it. Not been found. The first victim was her own 75-year-old father. Madison mutilated his body in such a way that his face was unrecognizable. His body was found in pieces inside the well along with the other corpses. So far, his left leg and three fingers have not been found. The first victim was her own 75-year-old uh, father. Madison mutilated his body in such a way... I'll go back to the one at the mirror, because that's the only one I can think of that had something. His body was found in pieces inside the well, along with the other corpses. So far... I think the top floor had the mirror. Madison amputated both of her legs while... The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Lost and notified... You. It's me. You. You. I looked in every single hole. Yo, you, you, you. Yo. Did I take a hammer to the hole with the pictures by that number five? Uh, I think I took a hammer to every hole, but I could check. By the number five? That'd be on the fifth floor. Er, I'm on I'm on the fifth floor right now. There's no column in the reflection because it's a magic mirror. It's showing a it's showing a chair with a noose above it. Thank you, you. because it makes you think it's based on the Madison movie Billy Madison and stars Adam Sandler? Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much this guy. <laughs> Some parts are more similar to Happy Gilmore. Supposed to be a clue to which plaque would vanish. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. I don't know. I I didn't understand the whole point. Twenty-seven-year-old man. Twenty-seven-year-old man. That's twenty-seven. That's him. His body 
body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head. Why did I not think of taking a picture of the outside? So there's only going to be one per, I guess. Or not. Maybe I have to take pictures of all the holes. Oh, that thing rotates. Wait, what is that thing rotating? I hammered all the holes and I take, I took picture. But when you take a picture, that thing rotates. What am I on now? I'm on third floor. Now this says one. I'll go back to the first floor. What a confusing, misleading. Seventy-five-year-old father. His body was found in pieces inside the well along with the other. So corpses. it's this one. So far, that says three. So if I take a picture again, will it do it again? Just still say three. Okay. I know what to do now, but that's uh, wow. Who designed these? <laughs> Pretty clever. Okay. Seventy-one-year-old mother. Seventy-one year old mother died. Nineteen eighty-seven. That one's empty. It's gotta be this one. Yeah, it's the last name, Judith Hale. Yeah. That's all we got to go on. <laughs> Three. Hours later, Madison continued to mutilate her body before disposing of it. The second victim was her 71-year-old. Body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object. 27, and that was this guy. The man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. In more than 13 pieces. The 
So we don't know if it's Lynn Jamie because the date is 35 year old. 35. Um, when did the murders take place again? 1988? 87? So that's 2001. That's George Brown. It's obviously this one because the thing is hidden. Oh, it's saying you again. Let's go to the you. All the dots line up. Hey. What's that? Clock key. Good thing I had space for that. All right, now let's leave. Follow me, you, you, you. Now I can get into that clock room. The clock room. I should turn the power back on first. Oh, okay. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, uh, yeah. Go in. I want to see what's in there. Wait, what is it? Oh, it's a downstairs? Oh no! Oh uh, I'm having uh, clock fever uh, again! My body... Uh, my hands... This is... What the priest was talking about. That thing is... That thing is feeding off of me. Tick What the fuck does this even mean? <laughs> The house is full of clocks. But is there one that is 12? What time would that be? 12.25? Oh no, they're all at the same time? This one. That wasn't it. Maybe it is. Try again. Come on, twelve twenty-five clock. It's locked. Oh fuck! I need the bolt cutters.
that going? She's tall. photos those are the only that's how I've been looking at photos need that need that probably need that mm. the oops shovel head I still haven't used a shovel head I'll keep the crowbar in the box Combination nine left, eleven right, probably. Ooh, interesting. Probably right. But what do you think was said underneath there? Could be the other half of the thing. Is there usually four? I got four right, eight left. I don't know which one was the real one though. I gotta go in the toilet and look. Okay, let's see. This was uh, eight left was the one that written there. The couch is upside down. Anything under the couch? Why would they do this? Let's try uh Eight left, nine left, eleven right, nine left. Wait, I did the wrong one. Eight, nine left. inside John my son I'm an old man already and life has passed to all of us I'm so proud to see the man you become so happy to have D 
deeply enjoyed the two grandchildren that you gave me, Luca and Chanel. I write this letter so that one day you can understand everything that's going on through my mind right now and debunk the myth that I'm a crazy old man. God does exist, and just like him does Satan. All my life I tried hard not to believe, but time has shown me I was profoundly mistaken. Your mother was not sick at all. I couldn't prevent her sad ending from happening. Uh, as far-fetched as it sounds, blue knees is real. Not a single specialist was able to trace down the cause of her condition, not to mention find a treatment to help her fight. I truly wish I could go back in time and tell her I believe you. I kept trying to contact her for over 15 years. I just wanted to speak with her just one last time. Soon we'll meet again and I'll beg her to forgive me. The loneliness reminds me, day after day, how hard it is to live without my most precious and beloved person in the world. At least I can see her face in every room of this huge house. Regarding the book, I tried to burn it, tear it, bury it, but there's no use bothering. It somehow manages to get back. Anyway, I now keep it in my possession under locks and keys. I will now not allow history to repeat itself. Thanks for being the son I've always dreamt to have. Love your dad, Albert Maxwell. And there is a clock in there. Of course. Cool. Got a clock. Now, uh, it's a little tiny clock. Does it go on this clock? <laughs> and, oh, I can take any clock. Oh. What a weird mechanism. Maybe I have to do all the clock trading. We'll see. Hmm. Wonder what the significance of that is. All those other clocks. Hey! Don't be knocking over. Why are you doing that? I don't know why I'm taking clock faces around. It didn't cuckoo, what wrong if not cuckoo? Oh yeah, this one cuckooed. But the previous one didn't. Maybe this one will work. Oh, that one cuckooed. But where the fuck are these clocks going? Is there a clock in the attic? Oops. Now it did. Can't 
Can you just take any of them? Which clock did I not cuckoo? one in the attic you think the one in the kitchen oh I'll check that one again I swear that one cuckooed Yeah, I gotta check the kitchen. Hey, Flammy. Okay, that one cuckooed. hidden in here. That's the only clock I could see before. Don't think there's one in there. Hey! Hey! What the fuck? Is there one in the basement? This one cuckoo? Yeah, it likes that one. I did the one in the attic, yeah. Is the game scaring? The game isn't scaring you at all, is it? Uh, it is. There are some very scary uh, jump scares in it. I'm not sure that we made this very first one.
Is that about an hour left? Oh my god. I was hoping this was going to be the last thing. I need a hint. That is so rude. The ghost is getting so rude. The house design and all the room design is really good. I think you need to put the clock face that corresponds to the other clocks near the cuckoo. You mean a matching one? Because it doesn't stay. Like that right there, one of the faces was 1225. Um. If that's the case, I have sorely fucked this over. Oh. Hey, booty. Yeah, I was wondering if maybe there's like specific... Do you think they have to go in specific places? It's hard to tell. Because this one, look, it's, it's sitting... These clocks are sitting at 5... 10. These ones are all at 12. Oh, dear. Yeah. Did you notice that one of the clocks you got have the same hour of the one in the drawing? Uh, no, I didn't notice that. I bet you have to put the one that matches the clocks around it. Shit. No, no, that's probably right. Shit. Nah, not all of them have neighbor and clocks. Only this room does. And maybe only this room matters. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so this one clock is 1.30. This one clock is... 8.20 This one is 12, 25 And this one is Five, ten. Okay. So do any of these uh, that I'm holding right now, are they matching? Oh, it says 11.55 right on it. That's not one of mine that I need. So I'll go trade it for something else. Um, right here, that one says five. That's not five ten, so I don't need that. This one. There's a clock right next door. There's a clock on the wall needs to cuckoo. Are you sure it just means they need to cuckoo? Because I did this one. I did this one already.
9.30. And what's that one right there? 8.20. Oh, 8.20 is the one that I need. That one is 620? Wait a minute. 820. Yeah, 820 here. So this goes... Did I do the one on the table? Is there one on the table? I wrote down 820 is the one that I need. Oh, uh, two, where is it? Five, ten. Which one's 820? That's 12, 25. Oh, uh, this one. That's the 820. Okay, I gotta put the 820 there. Okay. Uh, that one on the cloth table? This one you can't touch. Is a cloth table somewhere? Oh, this one. Yeah, I did this one. Yeah, don't worry, I did that one. Um, but I just need to check mark off now the ones that I've gotten. Okay. So, let's go grab the other ones now. I just, I'm sure I just left them all upstairs. Because I was randomly switching. <laughs> what time is that one? Six, seven, forty-five, and I have an eleven fifty-five. Uh, it doesn't matter. Those are both duds. Both duds. What time is that? 12.25, I need that one. <sighs> Gotta take it down to the clock room. To the 12.25 one. I still have to do the 130 and the 510. And this is a 510. So I need that to go here. And yeah, we picked up the 510. Now I, I'm holding a 640. And all I have to do is find a 130. I'm gonna go back to the original clock area, the very first clock. And that is the 130.
This should solve the clock puzzle. Clocks are going wild. We did it. Hey, acid splashies. Yes, yeah, super spooky. Super spooky, really difficult puzzles. Like, really fucking impossible. Let me in there, you bastards! I can't touch these anymore. So that puzzle's over. Oh, I'm locked in here. Okay. I gotta take a picture of something then. This clock. Oh, yeah, that works. Suplex the door. Hey, what's this? A hanging clock. It seems like you never finished this one. Oh, I'll put my concrete block on this. What? That's what that's for. It has to be. Unfinished clock. Well, what's wrong with it? It doesn't have any internals. Like, why wouldn't that go in there? It's perfect for, like, a hook and everything. Well, I gotta find some clock parts, I guess. <laughs> I'm a suplex this clock. Okay, he better have like an asthma attack or something at the top of the stairs here. Oh good, I can leave. Oh no, see, I, he's having an attack. I can't, I can't take this anymore. I just can't. My whole body is going numb. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> You're bad. Oh, look, he's, let's write in his book. Uh, this must be a combination or something. Oh, to the safe. Can you go to the projector room? Yeah, I'll go there. Is that a combination? Sometimes taking pictures can cause panic attacks. How could this be a combination? Oh, I think I understand. One, two, what? What's the red? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's that's the combination to the red thing. The red safe.
Let's write that down. So left, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm, is that how you count that? Okay, twelve. Twelve left. Eight right. One, two, three, four, five left. Twelve, eight, five. Johnny! I'm carrying too much already. Oh, shit. I'm carrying too much. I can't put anything down. I'll be back! And that's the door, uh, the key to the door that's just like right over here, isn't it? That one. We grabbing the cash and hammering till we get out. say I'm gonna store the no we still haven't used the broken shovel yet so I'm gonna store the bolt cutters and that's it Okay, Johnny Key. This used to be Dad's room. What happened? What happened in here? Oh, nice little puzzle with weights in here. In order to save the bird, the rabbit jumped into the air, leaving all her friends behind. The snake below the rat remained, while the shark in the depths, this plan designed. Okay, the shark is the lowest one. The shark is the lowest one. The rabbit... Wait, who is just slightly below? What the fuck is that sound? Uh, the rabbit jumped in the air. That's, the rabbit's the highest one. Snake below. Leave your friends behind. Snake below, the rat remains. So there goes rabbit, then rat, then snake. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one right here. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. And so that one actually should go there. Are there any other blocks? What if I hang the uh, clock on this one? The snake was below the rat. Oh, burn photo again? Blue knees, so hey. This is the book that everyone was talking the about. The scary book that they bought him. A long, long time ago there was a creature whose name was unknown. It had always lived alone and was often seen on its own. This looks like salad fingers. One freezing frosty night, it began to feel so very somber that it fell into a day's slumber. Two day slumber. By the third day, it woke up in blackness with an illness so serious that both of its eyes had vanished in the darkness. The creature creeped out of the, on, uh, of the bed and started crawling, looking for the eyes it knew for sure were rolling. It slithered and rolled, so its knees turned blue and sore, since its eyes popped and tumbled, both of them, as dust crumbled. It is to this day that it does not have a clue, but that it uh, that is no excuse to end the pursuit. Now beware those fleeting eyes and make sure to turn on the lights for your own sight is at stake if you cannot escape. He's afraid of the light. Use something bright for protection. It says right there. Hey, the room changed! Oh shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me, I gotta go in there? The, the room has changed. Hi, my name is Johnny. I know this is impossible, but I think Dad wrote this. Something's happening down there, but I don't have an item to use. All I, I put the bolt cutters away, but I don't think that's it. Oh. Um, that's full of eyeballs in there. Blue 
Blue collectibles. the kitchen where he's written this song to find him and flash him. But is my progress saved, I wonder? There's an eyeball in that one, so that one's done. Is this one done? Is this a... Oh, I gotta take the a, eyes? A human eye? Can you go back to the room with the noose and the combo lock? Uh, I could, but I think I have to play these tapes, no? Am I holding the eyeball? I am. The eyeball is in this one, but it won't let me get it. house feels like a maze. I'm sure this is what Grandma was referring to in her diary.
too far away. You think we need to drop the eyeballs in there? Oh! But I wasn't able to pick up the other eyeballs. In each of those gramophones. Are those what those are called? I'll go grab that eye. There's one in there. Yes, he didn't let me grab it. Phonograph. I know, after I played each record, there was an eye-popping sound. I heard it too, but, um, it's like the thing lands in the gram of- in the thingy. See? There's an eyeball in there. Where does he come out of? We have to fight him in this room. There. So I fought him in all the rooms, I think. Does he drop these messages? Always hates the dark uh, light, okay. Oh, bathroom one. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, the eyeball! Okay, I got an eyeball, finally. Is that the second one? Oh. Looney says I have pretty eyes. Are you guys gonna hear that song in your dreams tonight? <laughs> so grandma wasn't sick at all. This thing is what really killed her. Unless that was supposed to happen. Maybe. Yeah, what am I doing back in here? Oh, he's really fucked up now. He's like doing a big limp. You cannot use the camera right now? Hey, who's that? Is that Grandma? Am I supposed to know what the code is? Probably. I put 1987 on. Uh, no, don't, don't say just yet. I, I think it's 1987 because that's the year that the murder happened. Okay, he's dying. 
Surely I've taken photos of, of it. I've been taking a lot of dumb photos. Um, like these are numbers right here. Look like one. What were those from? Can you say not? Uh, not yet. Did I see what? Oh. <laughs> I saw that. Look at these numbers right here I've been photographing. No, don't say it yet. I think I'm going to figure it out. Why was I taking pictures of bloody numbers? Two? How long ago was I taking those pictures of those numbers? That's the first picture. I don't know if I got four numbers. Is that it? Did I get it correctly? Two something? You can say, you can say the number, because it'll, uh, it'll match up with mine, hopefully. Seven. Maybe that's what it is. That's all I got, two seven zero. Um, that's not the number I got at all. Where did you, where do you get that from? If I'm stuck in this room right now, 2710 is the one I got, yeah. But if it's 6386, where was I supposed to get that number from? Like it's not on the wall. Where does that number come from? Because I, I did not get that at all. Wasn't there a one in there? Two seven one zero I got. Let me try my number first. Oh, what? My number was correct. Steve, what number? Where did you get that number from? <laughs> Can I sit in the chair? It could be randomized according to what photos you took. That number worked for you? Oh, it must be according to your gameplay. And not, not according to, uh... Oh, the ashes. 
Elizabeth Maxwell. <laughs> it's a good thing we had those photos, though. <laughs> If I didn't have those photos, what the hell would I have done? Oh. Dad's head, the hanged son. The hanged son. What? <sighs> the camera. Oh, shit. Are we going to take a self portrait? Oh no. Part of the ritual, was it? I guess it had to have been. And also, he didn't put the camera on timer, right? taking the photo itself. There's nobody there to shake it. Oh man, a burn photo? So was I the monster the whole time now? He's alive! He lived! He's fine. Wow. Wow. Not a bad game, I have to say. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, those puzzles were fucking really hard and super clever. In memory of the real Albert Maxwell. Whoa. That, uh, that game could have gone really differently for me, you guys. Um, having played a lot of horror games, the more you let the horror games scare you, the harder it is to come back and stream it and play it. So I was trying really, really, really hard to be very brave and to not be scared by anything, and it worked. 
it made me enjoy the game a lot more, I think. Because I, when I play, um, horror puzzle games, I much prefer the puzzle elements than I do the horror elements. So if I can just kind of, uh, be strong through the, sh the shocks and the jump scares and stuff, um, then you can actually truly enjoy the game instead of just, like, being afraid of the jump scares. So I did that this time, and it made me enjoy the game way more. And I really like this. That's the anti-Ubisoft credits. Yeah, those are short. Wow. Uh, I actually recommend this game to anyone and everyone because that was scary. The puzzles were absolutely fucking impossible. Had I not had your help, this would have taken me... I mean, it only took me nine hours to finish this. Almost ten. Um, had I not had your help, this would have been like a 25 hour game. Because I would have been running around not seeing a tape on a windowsill or like an eyeball or like, you know, I wouldn't know what to take a photo of and stuff. But you guys were very helpful with your hints and ideas. So thank you guys. Uh, so, but I'm left incomplete. He became Madison Hale. Well, he became something because the two bodies were there. Uh, so maybe, but the thing is, when the picture took his photo, when the camera took his photo, the photo was burned. Um... Would you recommend the game or not? Yeah, I would, actually. Guess you like horror from South America. Well, they've done it really well. Hope you guys like that. Hey, thank you for, uh, following on Twitch, Michael Myers and Box Brood. Appreciate that, guys. Tormented Souls from Chile, and this is from Argentina. Nice. Oh, Tormented Soul was excellent. Um, you guys, we are finished. We went uh, over time today. I never really stream past five hours, so that's kind of shows how much I like the game. Yay, Nick McDonald. Thank you for the five dollar super chat, Miss Yeah, for the win. Have a good night. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Hold on, okay? Yeah, don't worry. It'll still be a couple minutes. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Madison, thank you very much. Nice GG, cheers, and salute. You're the best. Thank you for streaming this. I appreciate that. Thank you very kindly, Steve. You are still on the mug, obviously. Yes. You're still on the mug. Uh, thank you for gifting me this game. I really appreciate it. It was an excellent uh, stream gift for the stream. Perfect. Perfect game. Thank you for supporting the stream also with donations. Um... You guys, I'm about to send you guys on a little... Let's see... You know what would be funny is if we hosted somebody else playing Madison. Because then you guys can help them too if they want it. I know where to go. Okay, let's go to let's find someone here with the uh, same name as me. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you. Let's go back to this. I will see you guys on Wednesday, probably. And, um... Then I'll, I'm not sure what I'm playing on Wednesday, but we'll see. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and follow on Twitch. I would appreciate that so much. As well as if you want to check out my Instagram, my Twitter, and even join the Discord if you like to chat with the other people from the stream. That's where they all are. Um, let me get a raid going here. Let's go raid this person. They got the same name as me on Twitch. Of course, thank you, Steve, for winning the mug and giving us that excellent total. Thank you. Thank you also to Nick McDonald and G-Man, Clever Oliver. Thank you, Martin Jessdorf and uh, Striker1. Thank you, Tomo Channel and Christian, Gameplay Lick. Thanks, Steve, for gifting all those subs, our memberships on YouTube. And Natasha for being a member. Oh, yeah, guys. Thank you. I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. I can't wait. She's the one who rated Ash. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Okay. 
You guys, join the raid on Twitch. I would appreciate that. Otherwise, I will see you in a few days. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and hanging out. I really appreciate all of you. Good night.